Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So for today's assignment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on this clip. Now, unlike the other multi-view drawings that we've been doing, this one has two orthographic projections, has your top and also has your front side views. So to begin, uh, we are going to go into our construction layer property. Uh, also, with this assignment, I want you guys to know that you will be doing the isometric drawing for this based off the orthographic projection. So let's begin. So I'm going to type an X line. I'm going to create two X lines right here. Okay. We need our vertical and horizontal line. Now we're going to offset our lines. Okay. So one thing you want to remember is your height, width, and depth. Okay. So our height is going to be 3.25 because we're going to add 0.50 plus 1.75 plus 1. Then our width is going to be 2 inches. It's going to be the radius of 1 multiplied by 2 and our depth of 1.25. So to begin, we're going to go to our right. We're going to go over 2 inches. We're going to use a space of two inches and we're going to go over to the right by the depth 1.25. Now, the horizontal line, we're going to go up. We're going to up, go up by 3.25. Okay. Now, I know you're used to, um, I know you're used to nine boxes, but this one, we're going to have three. Okay, so we have these three boxes here. Let me zoom in. And we're going to start offsetting. So I also don't want you guys to have the orthographic, uh, I'm sorry, the 45 degree line of projection. So to begin, I'm going to offset this side right here by one. Now I'm going to offset this horizontal line downward by 0.5 and this one upward by one. <clears throat> These are going to be the beginning of our construction lines, or I'm sorry, center lines. If you look here, we have one circle, two circles that's trimmed, three, four, and five. So let's begin. I'm going to go into circle, center diameter, find that midpoint right there. Sorry, let me switch over to my object layer property. That's going to be 0.5. This is going to be 1. This big circle is going to be 2. Then we're going to go by one, then we're going to go ahead by 0.5, okay? Now, let's draw the lines here. If you guys remember from prior classes, we're going to use the tangent snap. So I'm going to go to line. I'm going to go to my tangent snap right here. There you go. Tangent again. You have to click tangent twice. You're going to wait for this circle with a line over it. There we go. If you do it, you're just, if you do it without going to the tangent snap, you're just going to get the quadrant snap. It's not what we want. Tangent. And then tangent once again. Line, tangent, tangent. Okay. I highly recommend that you guys offset your horizontal lines so like that you're able to see where they turn out to be on the front projection. So this one, I'm going to offset 5.5. I'm sorry, 0.25. 0.25. If you want to offset the vertical line as well, by all means, I'm not going to do it. Let's offset this by 
Okay. Now, we're not done yet. We have to do a couple more offsets. So we have to get this line right here, as you see, there's a flat edge. That flat edge is 0.75 away from the center point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this, the center line right here, by 0.75. Okay. I'm going to draw a line going across. And then I'm going to trim right now. Turn off my construction lines real quick. Trim up a bit. There we go. Okay. So now, if you look at this, we have a keyway. A keyway is used to connect a component to a motor so that they spin together simultaneously. Without the keyway, the shaft of the motor will just spin within the part. And that can potentially cause friction, burnout uh, to the part itself, depending on if it's a plastic or something like that. So it's a very critical method to keep something locked in place, especially when you're using motorized components. So to do this, this keyway is 0.125. Remember, 0.125 in fraction form is 1 8th. Okay, so it's a 1 8th keyway, which is pretty standard. So I'm going to offset my center line right here by 0 0.0625, which is half of 0 0.125. 0 0.0625 translates to 1 16th. So 0 0.0625. 0.0625. Now, to find this length right here of the keyway, the height of the keyway, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 0.5625 from 0.5, okay? Although this circle, or I'm sorry, the step mention is not pointing to this circle, we know that this is a 0.5 diameter circle, and I'll explain that shortly. So to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this line by 0 0.0625. Again, it's a 16th high. So I'm going to take my line, make sure I'm in the object layer property, and trace these lines. Sorry, let me redo that. That didn't look too good. Now I'm going to trim. Okay, so now we have our keyway, all right? So let's talk about this dimension right here, right? A diameter of 50, they have this weird shape here, diameter of one inch, and then an arrow going downwards, 0.375. Looking at both views together, what that means is that there's a 0.5 or half inch through hole which is this hole right here. And then above that is a one inch bore. Now a bore is pretty much a method of drilling out a portion of the material. Let's say if you're using a screw, for example, right? Let's say I wanna put one of these flat or round or pan head screws or even like a hex bolt in, right? And I don't want I, I don't want the head of the bolt sticking out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bore in there so like that the screw is flush with this layer of material right here. Now, the, uh, the amount that it goes downward by is 0.375. And you can see it right here. We'll get into it more when we're working on this view. But as you can see, this is the bore, right? It's a one inch bore with a half inch hole and it goes, the bore goes down 0.375. So I'm not gonna uh, do the center marks just yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on this, okay? So uh, let me trace out as much as I can. I'm gonna go right here, I can do that. I'm gonna go over 0.5. I'm gonna stop right there, okay? 
Or I can even do this line right here as well. Hold on. So I'm going to stop right there because what happens is we have to figure out what this length is, okay? So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this line because that's where the line is alluding to. So we know that this is the end point right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I'm going to press escape, click offset, and I'm going to click on this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I go up to that end point. You see that constraint right there, that end point constraint? It's listed as 0.357, just in case you don't see it. I'm going to click right there. That's my little cheat method of how to figure that out without measuring it, okay? Because it makes no sense for me to measure this line when I can just offset it to that end point. So I know that this is going to be the line where I draw the vertical line down to, okay? Get that line right there. Get this line across, okay? Now, we are basically done with, we are basically done with drawing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing the center lines and the hidden lines. So I know my hidden lines are going to go here. I'm going to go into my hidden layer property, which is right here. My other hidden line is going to be right there. After that, I have to draw, I'm sorry, I have to offset once more. I'm going to offset over 0.375, which is a center bore. So after that, I'm going to draw a line. It's going to be right here. Got to make sure I draw this rectangle. After that, I'm going to draw the line for the keyway. Sorry, I drew the line for the keyway on the wrong circle. I am so sorry about that. Let me fix this up real quick. All right, now I'm going to trim this right here. All right, that's much better, okay? So, again, we have our bore that starts there, ends there, okay? Now, we have our keyway, which is right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a hidden line. From there to there, let me switch it over to the hidden layer property. All right, then we are going to draw Sorry, y'all. Now we're going to draw a hill line from here 
to here, and then from here to here, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to do a center line, annotate, and I'm gonna hit center line again. I'm gonna hit the two hit lines right here. That's how we get that center line. Then, to get this center line, we go here and here, and I also want you guys to make sure we hit the center board right here. Also to get the center mark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here and we're gonna make sure we hit the big circle, okay? Now, I am not going to dimension this for you guys. I want you guys to dimension on your own. You, All you have to do is replicate the dimensions that are posted on the screen right here, all right? Take care, y'all.